first flight was when I was a child. I, um, my dad took me to the local airport and we, um, we ate breakfast and we took a flight in an airplane and I thought it was probably the funnest thing I'd ever done. <laughs> and I wanted to do it more. I just remember being surprised that my instructor was letting me uh, fly by myself <laughs> at that time. I mean, I felt confident, but you know, when you first go, you're like, okay, can I really do this? All right, I think I can. And, and so I did it, and uh, it was a very fun experience. I remember when I got on downwind and I realized I was by myself, I just kind of started singing by myself. I'm <laughs> flying by myself. <laughs> it was just kind of a I'm sure that happens more than we think it does. I've achieved something I've never done before. You know, I started flying almost, 30, well, more than 30 years ago. And so there weren't that many women who flew. So some of my friends thought it was a little, little like, really, you can do that? Like a girl can fly? <laughs> so that's kind of the reaction that I got. When you're a student starting out here, we as instructors throw you into it like right away. So the very first flight, um, you do the takeoff, you know, the student does as much as possible on the controls. And I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting more of, you know, instructor does and then the student does and then do it together or something like that. But that's not how the flight training is here. We, we throw students in it right away. So it's kind of overwhelming, but really fun at the same time. Originally, I was a chemical engineer student for three semesters at U of I, and uh, I realized that I didn't want that much calculus in my life, so then I switched to aviation. So this plane right here in front of us is an Archer. That's November 4149 Alpha. It's a low wing, four place plane. That means four seats. Uh, it's a 180 horse engine, fixed gear, fixed propeller. Um, it's a great trainer. It's a good training airplane. Um, we've got 18 Archers, six Arrows, and three Summits. It's anyone. I don't care if you're 15 or 65, you can learn how to fly. Some people have the innate skill uh, and they just take to it like, you know, fish to water. Um, but some people need more coaching. And that's what we do here is we coach uh, and we teach and um, don't wait. Come out and try it. You'll love it. Flying makes me uh, schedule things more wisely. Like I come to airport every day at 8. I can't just, it gives me like a longer day than people usually wake up late. So it really makes me to schedule things wisely and it helps me to look things in different angles. Mm -hmm. So in the future I probably want to do something around aviation insurance if, yeah. So I can combine the two things I'm passionate about together. I asked my mom why you allowed me to fly in the first place. She said, most people just got scared, but I didn't know you got addicted. Hello. Oh. Just because it's only it's 34 like, miles. Right. Yeah. And that won't change your performance numbers much. I can compare the number from the previous flight. Making sure it's correct. It's, uh, it's check the uh, maintenance and all this. There's no problems with the uh, You know, it's fun. Hi, there's a checklist. Battery, master battery. All the lights on. Pilot, open the small window. You can hear the horn. Stop, warning horn later. So, uh, fabs, it's attached. Three. To check if the uh, guest has something is not supposed to be there. Look at this, it's clean. Looks <laughs> like it's, uh, it's good. Yes, this side. Oh, okay, careful. Yes. <laughs> Turn right, hitting three four zero. Resume the Gorman eight to 
departure, maintain 1-2000. 2000, we'll continue on the Gorman 8. This is a great time to get into aviation because there's a, a shortage of pilots worldwide. So whether you're in the United States, you're in Asia, Africa, Europe, wherever, there's a great need for pilots. So as a career, it's a great field to get into. Um, if it's something you just want to do for your own personal um, experience, it's a, uh, it's a great thing to do. Like I said, not, not a whole lot of people learn how to fly it if you're looking for a challenge and um, you want to kind of prove to yourself you can do something that's um, unique, then being a pilot is a good thing to do. And it's fun. I want to fly. I want to fly. I want to fly.